Hey fellow mathematicians, in this video we're going to talk about how to use the order of operations using an acronym called PEMDAS. You've probably heard the word operations in your real life. For instance, with a surgeon, they might say the operation was a success. Or if you're calling in to a telephone service, you might hear press zero to speak to the operator. Or if you've taken medicine, it might tell you on the bottle, do not operate heavy machinery. But what does operations mean in mathematics? In math, an operation is the mathematical process of calculating a value using operands and operators. That's a lot of op words, so let's take a closer look. So an operand is what's being operated on, and an operator is what is being used to operate on the operand. So basically operations are just when you add, subtract, multiply, and divide. It's pretty easy to recognize addition and subtraction because you just look for the plus symbol or minus symbol respectively, but multiplication and division have multiple symbols that could tell us that we're using one of those operations. So for instance, you might see two times 17 with the X, with the asterisk, which looks kind of like a star, with the middle dot, um, and if you do LaTeX coding, you might see that as C dot, and then you might see multiplication with just parentheses. Division, you can see the division sign um, three ways. One is with the division sign you probably learned in elementary school that looks like a minus sign with a dot on top or bottom. You could also see that slash, or you could see it written as a fraction, 2 divided by 17. So make sure you're familiar with all the different symbols that you could see that imply a certain operation. Now that we know what operations are, let's take a look at what the order of operations is. The order of operations refers to the sequence that mathematicians use to simplify numerical expressions. So the name order of operations literally tells us what it means. It's the order we perform operations to simplify numerical expressions. So you might've just asked yourself, what's a numerical expression? A numerical expression is just a mathematical phrase that contains only numbers and operators, like add, subtract, multiply, and divide. That's why we call it a numerical expression, because it only uses numbers. An example is 5 plus 3 minus 18 times 4 divided by 3. Do you notice in this expression that there are only numbers? And don't forget, we call expressions expressions because they do not have equal signs. If we had an equal sign, we would call it an equation. So the order of operations tells us the order that we're supposed to perform the operations. We can use the acronym PIMDAS to help us remember the order that we're supposed to perform. PIMDAS stands for Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally. This is a sentence that helps us remember that first we should do parentheses, so simplify anything inside parentheses. Then we do excuse, so E is for exponents. We simplify anything raised to an exponent. Then we have multiplication or division, whichever comes first. So read your expression left to right and do multiplication or division, whichever comes first. And then we end our order of operations with addition or subtraction. And again, it's whichever one comes first, reading your expression left to right. So one more time, PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, whichever comes first, addition or subtraction, whichever comes first, and we use the acronym PEMDAS or the sentence, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to help us remember the order of operations. Now that we know what the order of operations is, let's take a look at several examples using the order of operations to simplify expressions. For our first example, we have the numeric expression 40 plus 10 minus 6. So we need to use PEMDAS to tell us what to do first. We read our graph left to right and we see, do we have any parentheses? No. Exponents? No. Multiplication division? No. Addition subtraction? Yes. We're going to do addition first and do 40 plus 10 to get 50 because addition came first. Then we do 50 minus 6 and get our final answer of 44. So remember, when you're left with multiplication and division or addition and subtraction, you do whichever one comes first as you read left to right. 
Now, for example two, we're gonna take a look at a numeric expression that is very similar to the example we just did, but slightly different. So let's take a look at how we can simplify the expression 40 plus 10 times six minus five squared. We don't have any parentheses, but we do have an exponent. So we're gonna simplify five squared first. We have 40 plus 10 times six minus five squared, but five squared is 25. So we're gonna write that down. And as we get started, um, we're just gonna show all of our work. You don't have to do this when you get a little bit better at order of operations, but I think starting out, we should make sure to show all our steps. Then we wanna do multiplication or division. We have 10 times six, which is 60. So we have 40 plus 60 minus 25. We're gonna do addition not because addition comes first in PEMDAS, but because addition comes first in this expression. So 40 plus 60 is 100 minus 25. Well, 100 minus 25 is 75. And so that is the final answer for example two. So remember, it's all about using PEMDAS, looking at your specific expression and seeing what information you have. Do you have parentheses? Do you have exponents? It's okay if you don't but it just gives us the order that we would simplify. So example three is gonna be a little bit more challenging. We have five plus three minus 18 divided by three times four. So again, I think it's helpful to write down the acronym PEMDAS and we don't have parentheses or exponents. So we're going straight to multiplication or division, whichever comes first as we read our expression from left to right. Do you notice how the division comes before the multiplication in this specific problem? That means we're gonna do 18 divided by three, which is six, and we just bring down the rest of the expression. Then we're allowed to do multiplication. So five plus three minus six times four, that's 24. Now we're gonna do addition or subtraction, whichever comes first. The addition comes first for this example. So we get five plus three is eight. Eight minus 24 is negative 16. And we're done. We've simplified completely for this example. We're going to take a look at two more examples that are going to be even more challenging. If you'd like, you can pause the video, try the problems on your own, and then come back and watch the video to see how you did. But it's all about just following PEMDAS and reading your expression left to right. For our fourth example, we have one divided by the quantity of two plus six times 16 plus seven squared plus nine minus 20. So we have a lot going on. This time we actually do have parentheses. So we are going to simplify two plus six first because that is what's inside our parentheses. Two plus six is eight. And I'm gonna write down the rest of the expression exactly as it is, but I notice that I do have an exponent that I wanna simplify next. So in PEMDAS, we did our parentheses, we're moving on to exponents, we get seven squared. So we bring down the rest of the expression exactly how it's written and we do seven squared is 49. And then I'm looking ahead. Um, I know I have that eight in parentheses, but you can't simplify anymore. So you could actually just write one divided by eight without the parentheses, cause we have simplified completely there. Now we're looking at multiplication and division, whichever comes first. We start out the expression one divided by eight. So we need to do that first. And personally, I'm not gonna go to my calculator and figure out what one divided by eight as a decimal is because I can just write that as a fraction. And what I'm thinking here um, is writing that as a fraction is helpful because I know I'm just gonna multiply by 16 next and 16 is divisible by eight. So that's just kind of thinking ahead um, and I think that's just a little bit easier. And one divided by eight is literally just one divided by eight, so that makes it pretty easy. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna do the multiplication next. So one divided by eight times 16 is 16 over eight, or that's just two. Write down the rest of the expression, and now I'm on to addition or subtraction, whichever comes first. So we're gonna start with two plus 49 and get 51, plus nine minus 20. Then we need to do addition again, because that comes first as we read left to right. 51 plus nine is 60 minus 20. 
So we have 60 minus 20, and that is just 40. So this numerical expression simplifies to the number 40. Our last example, and our most challenging, it's gonna have a lot of information, but it's still the same process. Might be a little more tedious, but we still just follow the order of operations using our acronym PEMDAS. Here, you might notice that my parentheses looks a little different, the first one, and we call that a square bracket. And this is used often when you already have parentheses inside, just to make it easier to differentiate. You might also see a curly brace or what I like to call it, a squiggle bracket. So we have two times the quantity of four times the quantity of one plus two cubed minus 50 divided by 10 minus six to the zeroth power times eight. So we have two sets of parentheses. So we're gonna start with the innermost set of parentheses to simplify first and work our way out. So that means I'm gonna do one plus two. So we get everything brought down exactly the same but one plus two is three. Write it completely the same all the way out. Um, we would wanna simplify parentheses, but I can't simplify those brackets completely yet. So what I'm gonna do is simplify my exponent first until I can get my brackets simplified all the way. So I'm thinking, okay, three cubed means three times three times three, which is 27. Bring everything else down the exact same way. And I'm slowly but surely still working on those parentheses, those square brackets. Um, I also am thinking, well, I can just go ahead and do the exponents, right? Six to the zeroth power is one. So I wanted to show you on our final example how you can do some things simultaneously. You don't have to do one step per line, but if you want to, that's fine. No worries, just make sure you have enough paper. Um, so then I'm thinking, okay, four times 27, that's 108 minus 50 divided by 10, which you could go ahead and simplify as five if you wanted to. Um, then we did the minus one times eight. Um, we're still focusing inside those square brackets. So I'm gonna do the division next. Five, 50 divided by 10 is five. And I need one more step to simplify my parentheses and move on in my order of operations. So we have 108 minus five. That's just 103 in our brackets. So we get two times 103 minus one times eight. Now I'm ready to move on to the multiplication or division in the order of operations. So we have two times 103, we have one times eight. Two times 103 is 206 minus one times eight, that's just eight. And then finally we subtract 206 minus eight is 198. And that is our final answer for this problem. How'd you do? Did you get it right? What I'd like to do now is show you how you can solve this problem doing multiple steps at once. So you see I've already rewritten the problem and I'm simplifying the parentheses to three. I'm going ahead and doing 50 divided by 10 is five. I know six to the zeroth power is one and I did all of that in one line. So when you're ready for it, you can do all those steps in one. And then I'm simplifying three cubed to 27. And I also wanna do one times eight is eight. And then I'm still thinking about my order of operations and simplifying the parentheses. So four times 27 is 108 minus five minus eight. And that's just gonna look really similar to how I did it before. So we have two times 103 minus eight. In PEMDAS, we do multiplication before subtraction. So we get 206 minus eight. And that simplifies again to the same answer we got in the last way I showed you how to do this example, which is 198. So I hope that's helpful for you to see. Now let's finish this video by reviewing the order of operations. We know the order of operations is the sequence mathematicians use to simplify numerical expressions. In other words, it's literally the order that you perform mathematical operations. And that includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We can use the acronym PEMDAS to help us remember the order of operations, which is parentheses first, exponents next, multiplication or division, whichever comes first as you read left to right, and finally addition or subtraction, whichever comes first as you read left to right. PEMDAS can also be remembered as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Whether you prefer the sentence or the acronym, 
Make sure you remember the order of operations so you can simplify numerical expressions correctly. Thanks for watching. I hope you feel better about your understanding of the order of operations now. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Also, please let me know if there's anything you'd like to see explained in the next video by commenting down below, and I'll calculate later.